I'm John Wallace. I'm Rich Stone. And we're here at Leaf Only in Middletown, Connecticut. And we're gonna give you a quick overview of our company. So Leaf Only here started in uh, 2009. We've been in business for over five years. What we do is we work with Whole Leaf Tobacco on a retail and whole wholesale level. We sell tobacco leaves for all different applications, uh, cigarettes, hookah, uh, but today we're mainly focusing on cigars as the cigar tobacco is actually the um, most diverse category of tobacco that we have for sale because it has the most types. You know, with cigarettes, you may be mainly, it's mostly Virginia flu care that cigarettes are made of, whereas cigars, you get into a real custom blend. You know, people are importing leaves from Honduras and from the Dominican and Nicaragua and combining them all to make a very special cigar. So it includes all the different types, and uh, we try to import as many leaves as we can, give customers the most diverse choice. We deal with retail customers as well as wholesale customers, small, medium, large size manufacturers of cigars, and basically anyone that wants to take part in the creation of, uh, of their own custom tobacco product. Um, you know, we go a lot deeper into um, the creation of it rather than just, oh, I'm gonna pick up a little cigar, have a nice smoke. This is a more personalized experience where you can take the best of every cigar you've ever had and really make it your own. Right here what we have is some Dominican Lajero. This is usually one of the most common leaves that's used in uh, cigar making. The Lajero is usually used in the cigar to make it stronger, so it's usually the center part of the filler. It helps because when you got a thicker, thicker filler leaf like a Lajero, it burns a little tougher. So what they usually do is put the Lajero in the, in the center part of the filler and then wrap the lighter leaves around the outside of that to help it burn more evenly and better. So I'm gonna get this out for you guys to show it to you. So once again, the Lajero is a thicker leaf, darker leaf because it's on the top of a tobacco plant. It gets the most sunlight and it's, gonna, it's also gonna be on the plant the longest. What they do like to do though is they do like to uh, what they call frog leg is where they remove the midrib of the stem. As you can see here, it's actually basically ready for you to break apart, start working with it, and, uh, and then you would kind of roll it up and to start making your filler and bunch them together. Before we depart, I just wanted to show you a quick difference you can probably clearly see from the image here. This is Dominican Lajero, this is Dominican Velado. Both the exact same leaves, grown in the exact same country, on the exact same plant. But you can see this one's a lot lighter, you can't feel it, but it's a lot thinner, and that's because this is more towards the bottom of the plant where it gets less sunlight, doesn't have as much time to grow and thicken and toughen up. And they all each have their own uses, um, you know, as far as being components of the cigar blend. The reason we started Leaf Only is first we wanted to originally get into selling a product. Um, we found out that getting into the product was a little more than what we initially wanted to uh, dive into starting off. But we were on the forums, we were on the website, we were talking to people online, and uh, we saw there was a need for people that wanted to get tobacco between maybe one pound or up to a couple hundred pounds. And kind of before we came into the market, the only, the only real offers there were for tobacco for people was either in 100 pound bales, 300 pound cases, um, kind of like what you would see on the side here. So there really wasn't uh, too many people out there offering it between one pound, five pounds the variety that we're able to offer it in, and then also to offer so many different leaves for different uses at one location. Yeah, and it started slow, you know, at first it was just a couple of face-to-face -face sales. We met people that had a real interest. Um, we really originally started with research, you know, we, we were asking people, what is the best type of tobacco for X? What is the best type of tobacco for B? We're in Connecticut, we have Connecticut Broadleaf, would this be suitable? And the response was, whoa, you guys have Connecticut Broadleaf? Can I buy some? So, I mean, that was like a big wake-up call to us, like, wow, people actually want what we can drive down the road and, and pick up from farmers that we've known for, for decades. So um, it really just started from there, and then we got into the different types of leaves for different purposes, and just one week after the next, it kept going and going, and the interest just kept growing, and here we are today, and we really like what we do, so. We carry over 30 to 40 different types of leaves at the moment as well. Yeah, we started with just Connecticut Broadleaf. You know, we would classify them like in Connecticut instead of Lajero and Seiko. They call it 1LS for the lower parts of the leaf. Uh, um, medium and um, the 1DW Maduro would be like the Lajero. So we kind of diversify the Connecticut leaves into these categories, make it look like we had five or six leaves. Really, we only had one. 
And uh, yeah, now we legitimately have 30 to 40, and um, we plan on getting more. I mean, the more unique leaves we can find, the better. I mean, people send us leaves and say, hey, I have this. Um, we're all over it. We're like, well, yeah, let's see it. Let's get some samples, because I know that our customers will appreciate it if we can get a Peruvian crop from 2006. So we try to find stuff like that. To learn more about Leaf Only, please visit us at leafonly.com, and thanks for watching Cigar TV. Light it up.